Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera here with a quick video for you today on homemade weed killer. Weeds are simply plants that are out of place, but sometimes they can be really out of place and we want to eliminate that problem to have more of a uh, beautiful yard and landscape. I have been um, researching a, several different options. I have always in the past used just straight white vinegar. Boy, it works. Okay, there's no doubt about it. If you're in a jam and you just want to pour some vinegar on something, it's going to eliminate your problem very quickly and very easily. But I also have been seeing a uh, solution that you can make and put into a one of the easy pump sprayers. And I thought I would try it, and I did yesterday, and I'm very pleased with the results, so that's why we're making a video for you so that you can also see what I'm talking about. What you're going to do is you're going to simply have a pump sprayer. I got this at Lowe's. I think it was $9.95. It's one gallon. I actually have several of these that I keep on hand for different things. One's for my uh, homemade fungicide, and of course this is going to be for a weed killer, FedEx is driving. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to get one gallon of white vinegar. Simple. Walmart, Kroger, wherever. It's like three bucks. One whole gallon, okay? You're going to put that into the sprayer. Very simple and easy. I then added two cups of Epsom salt. I keep a lot of Epsom salt on the premises for the garden and different reasons, different things like that. Um, and uh, you're going to put two cups in here. Again, you can get this at your local Walmart or Target or wherever you shop. Get you a whole bag, keep it on hand. It's very handy. So you've got one gallon of vinegar, two cups of the um, Epsom salt into the pump spray, and then the recipe um, called for Dawn dish soap. I don't have Dawn dish soap. I have Dr. Bronner's. I use it for many different things. I, love, I have the lavender. You could probably use whichever one you prefer. I did a couple of drops of this. I think it called for a couple of tablespoons. So I did a little, you know, a good little amount, just a couple drops in there. And I just mixed it up really, really good. And I have sprayed along our fence line. Now this fence line here is up near our, up against our house because we have dogs and I like to keep them contained. Uh, we have a coon hound that likes to jump. She doesn't do it really much anymore, but we wanted to make sure she was well contained on the property and taken care of. So we decided to put the hard wire fencing up against the house as well. We love it. It's very convenient. But the only problem is, is when you mow and you weed eat, you can't get all of the grass down at the bottom. So I've had to hand trim it, keep it really short, and then I went along the side yesterday with this, and it has absolutely worked. I may do a second application of it just to make sure that I got it all around, and we're going to show you what this looks like, um, just to make sure. Um, but I really, we don't use any chemicals on the property. Everything is organic or natural here on the property. I'm just fighting that as hard as I can. Uh, obviously, we're not perfect, but in any way, the shape or form that we can, again, as I say, remove the chemical thumbprint, I just think that improves the health of your property, your life, and uh, everything around you. So we don't want to harm any of our pollinators for our gardens particularly, and I certainly don't want chemicals around a fence line that my dogs are in and out of all the time, and my little cat and us and everything. So think about this. We're going to show you, again, vinegar, Epsom salt, a little bit of soap, pump spray. It's great to have one of these, nine or ten bucks. Uh, very useful, and uh, we just really, I'm very impressed with the results here. We, if you like what you see here, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to us. We're on Facebook and Instagram, and check out our blog and send us any questions, and we hope y'all are doing well, and we'll show you what we're talking about. I think you're going to be impressed. Y'all take care.